is at hand. And the efforts of everyone, from Battlefront G.I. Joes to regular Joe Schmoes, are in the spotlight. Here at the University of Michigan campus, artist Christopher Sperandio explains his part in the effort, a project he calls Conflict Theory. The big idea about Conflict Theory is to create a game that's set in the, the context of the town in which the people that are playing the game live. I'm Christopher Sperandio, and along with Simon Grennan, I'm the WIT Artist in Residence this semester at the University of Michigan. Simon Grennan and I have been working together since uh, 1990, and we've made artworks with, I would say, 60 or 70 museums and art centers in the US, the UK, and Europe. We've made comic books, animated films. We were even the creators and executive producers of a reality television series about contemporary art. We first started making uh, public artworks, uh, primarily with groups of people that weren't typically involved in art making. So for instance, senior citizens or dentists or museum goers. And we're here in Michigan now to make a new artwork in collaboration with uh, students and community members. So we thought uh, building a game, making it lighthearted, setting it in a college campus would be uh, an interesting point for discussion. Indeed, the project is loosely based on a game invented by none other than H.G. Wells, author of War of the Worlds. It's based on a game that H.G. Wells developed in the, uh, the early 1900s to play with his children using their toy soldiers and blocks and dollhouses. Along with publicizing the project mission, Chris's appearances and lectures around town helped begin a flow of recruits. Meet art student Anna Schulte, who signed up to help paint the game mural. I heard about this project towards the beginning of the year. Chris came into my classes and talked about what he was doing here at the university and the opportunity to work with an artist, which I had never done before and I thought would be a cool experience, especially since I've only worked really with teachers and people that, are, that aren't really doing the project with you, but rather making you do something else. And so, as many as 40 volunteers are helping to bring the concept to life. For the past three months, we've been building buildings, developing rules, casting figures, all to get to this point where we have this giant game space. And the conversations that we've been having are interesting. This, uh, this idea of fighting a battle in the context of Ann Arbor, I think, has created some interesting discussions about the past and about the future. Obviously, we're not advocating insurrection. Our game takes place on a grid of six-inch squares. The grid is covered at various points by buildings that are representations of buildings in Ann Arbor. It's this connection to the town that attracted some of the enlisted. And here's just such a fellow, Jeremy Canfield, a recent graduate of the University School of Information. It feels like, you know, this town um, is, it, not that the town is under siege, but that it is, you know, it is the game board. And I really like the idea of mixing this reality with this you know, very fanciful play, fanciful notion of play. So it's an imaginary Ann Arbor because we're not recreating any specific block or series of blocks in Ann Arbor. The arrangement of the buildings on the board, it's kind of like a Frankenstein monster. It's, it's a patchwork of different sections of Ann Arbor sort of shoved together. The way we chose the buildings that we picked to do was really their meaning to the students as well as their sort of meaning to the town. So the clock tower is an obvious choice because it's, it's a central building in Ann Arbor. The Michigan Theater, all art students have to attend lectures at the Michigan Theater once a week. And so for one day a week, for a couple of hours during that day, it's the biggest classroom on the University of Michigan's campus. So we really just tried to think about the buildings that we spent a lot of time in. One of the buildings is the Fleetwood Diner, and it's a favorite late night spot. It's also a favorite breakfast place. And even though it's, a, it's, it's basically this tiny little diner, it has a big place in everyone's heart. The Beer Depot is another building that we picked to reproduce. More out of a spirit of humor, 
it's just this funny little grungy place with a big neon sign in front. And so the Beer Depot seemed like a great, a great choice. So for our game, Grenon and I thought, instead of using uh, some, some off-the-shelf uh, plastic figures that we'd make our own, they don't typify the people in Ann Arbor, but they're definitely people that we've seen in Ann Arbor. We took these figures and we made silicon molds, and then we cast uh, plastic resin so that we would end up with a, a black army and a white army, much like in chess. Some recruits, like Michigan native Natasha Miller, have offered specialized expertise. In this case, mold making. I'm pouring in urethane resin, um, one part A and one part B, and then when you take it out, hopefully, you'll have a nice man about to hit you with a, with a parking meter. It can be difficult because you never know how the molds are going to turn out, um, and many times they don't turn out the way you want, but that's just the way of art. So it's been, uh, it's been a big undertaking to sort of marshal 45 different people and 45 different schedules to, to build this, uh, this large, complex uh, game, game scenario. Play, I think, is a big part of, of my art making practice. And uh, create, creating a, a large game uh, is exciting to me. And the, the game has actually developed a, a cult following. You'll find students in here uh, late at night uh, fighting these sort of pitched battles in the context of uh, university administration buildings, favorite local eateries. I think it's been quite successful in that, that people actually have taken over this art space and are playing these, playing these complex games. And so, Chris and Simon continue enlisting local communities in the effort on the art war front. Remember, get involved if they come to your town. <laughs>